and welcome to another exciting episode of House and Home. We're so glad to be back together, bringing to you another episode. We are your host, I'm Teresa. And I'm Billie Jean, and we hope you had an amazing weekend and are looking forward to another great week. Anyways, mm -hmm. let's get straight into our lineup, shall we? We have cooking tips and ideas, shopping with Brian Bell. We also have mobile banking with BSP and some painting tips and ideas with Topments and so much more. So without further delay, here now is Chef Samarita showing us how to prepare the hot cross buns. Yummy. Enjoy. Hi viewers, welcome to our and Home. Today I'll be doing a hot, hot cross bun. I have on my bench, I have all the ingredients. Um, I have plain flour, sultana, grated orange skin, magnet, yeast, brown sugar, egg, milk, salt, lemon skin, and water. And I already done the milk and the butter, which is warm in the pan. So I'll pour it in the bowl. Okay. Now the yeast. The brown sugar. Gently mix them together. Now I'll pour the plain flour. The plain flour. Sultanas. Meg. Salt. Orange. Lemon. Then you mix them together. Then we'll break the egg in. And mix them. Then we'll put the dry ingredients in. Then we'll gently fold the ingredients together. Lastly, but not the least, we'll add the milk. Bit by bit. And then we fold. Some more milk. Then we continue to fold the dough. Okay, now I will use the surface, a bit of flour dust. Then you put the dough onto the bench. Then we'll start to knead the dough. Okay, 
After kneading the dough, we let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll start to cut. Okay, now we're gonna cut the dough. Roughly 20 to 30 gram of each dough. Then we're gonna roll them up. And we're gonna line them up on the baking tray. At least we give space to each other so it won't stuck. We're gonna roll the dough until we complete the hot cross bun on the tray. Okay, once finished, we're gonna rest the dough for 20 to 30 minutes. Now we're gonna do the third step. A bowl. Okay. We'll need two eggs. Whisk. Then add milk. After we mix egg and milk, we gently pour into the flour. Okay. And we're gonna continue whisking. We're gonna use this, then we're gonna make like a pencil. After we have done this, we'll pour this into the okay, we'll run it over the dough. Now it will go into the oven for 20 to 30 minutes for 200 degrees. Now we'll just have to wait for the hot cross bun to be ready. All right, it's ready now. Ready? Now we're gonna plate them.
You can have this for breakfast, lunch. You can have it at any time. I use icing sugar. Viewers, this is my hot cross bun. Thank you for watching our channel. Bye. Thank you, Chef Samarita. That looks amazing. Viewers, I hope you have noted down those ingredients. You can find them in your nearest retail shops. Now we're going to go for a quick breather, but when we come back, we have Shopping with Brian Bell. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show everyone. Now this week on Shopping with Brand Bell, Leon takes us through some of Brand Bell's product promotions and services. Here it is. Hey, hey, Mr. B. Hi there everyone and welcome to another Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm Leon your one and only host, and this is the segment that gives you some great insight into the products and promotions you can find here at Brian Bell. Now, there are many important dates you should remember in your calendar, one of them being the 12th of May. What is it? Well, it's Mother's Day, a day when we recognize the lovely ladies in our lives that provide us unconditional love. So here in Brian Bell, we've got our gift guides that can assist you to get some great gift ideas from our range of products available on our showroom floor, one of those products being Singer. So in this segment, I'm gonna show you a couple of those Singer sewing machines that you can pick up for mom. Plus, we'll take a look at the Mother's Day competition that's running in shop. You can be a part of that and win something extra for mom this Mother's Day. There's lots to cover, so let's go on in and take a look. Mother's Day is on here in Brian Bell and I'm sure your mom would absolutely love and appreciate a Singer sewing machine as a Mother's Day gift, especially if she's the person that sews your clothes for you. You know, the one that fixes your ripped shorts, work pants and shirts. Well, this is a great opportunity to replace their old sewing machine with a new one from Brian Bell. Our Singer Tradition sewing machines are great to give to all moms this Mother's Day. It's just the perfect gift idea. It can help them fix up all the clothes that you've ripped up, plus also it can help them make some new creations that you'd love to wear. Whether you're a beginner or a more experienced sewist, this model has the basics for sewing all sorts of projects. 23 built-in stitches, basic stretch and decorative, one-step buttonhole to simplify buttons, built-in needle threader to thread needles with ease, free arm for hard to reach areas like trouser hams, and adjustable stitch length or width to customize stitches. Now the next Singer sewing machine that I wanna show you is the Singer Overlocker. All moms would love this. It's a great sewing machine that you can keep at home and do all your sewing with. Now some of the features that moms would love include 4-3 stitch configuration, 1,300 stitches per minute, color-coded lay-in threading system, differential feed, 4-thread mock stretch stitch, a 3-thread overlock stitch, a 3-thread mock stretch safety stitch, and a flat lock stitch. Now I mentioned earlier in the introduction that we have a Mother's Day competition up and running in shop and it's called Celebrating Mom's Day Competition and it's on here in Brian Bell, a Brian Bell nationwide and it's a great opportunity for you to shop and win something extra for mom this Mother's Day. All you have to do is shop at any Brian Bell nationwide, spend 50 kina or more and you could win up to 30,000 kina worth of prizes. Ah, you'd be silly to miss out so you better come in and shop now with Brian Bell. There are 24 500 kina weekly gift vouchers up for grabs and 8 2000 kina gift vouchers you can get and all you have to do is shop with Brian Bell now. The more you spend, the greater your chances are of winning. 50 kina gets you one entry ticket, 100 kina gets you two entry tickets, 200 kina gets you four entry tickets and 500 kina gets you a mammoth 10 entry tickets. So the more you spend, the greater your chances are of winning one of these great gift vouchers. Just imagine what you could buy for your mom. Well, we've reached the end of this segment, but before I let you go, here's a quick recap of what we covered. 
We saw the Mother's Day catalog that you can now pick up at any Brian Bell nationwide. It's a great way to give you ideas on stuff you might want to buy for mom, like the Singer Tradition and the Singer Overlocker sewing machines that we saw in this segment. These are great gift ideas that moms would like to receive from you. And they can use it and make clothes for you as well. So, you know, be smart. Come into Brian Bell, pick up one of these things now. And if you can't come into shop to pick up one of the gift guides, then you can check out our website, Brian Bell Online, and you can pick up the e-copy of that gift guide so you can flick through on your phone and check out some of the gift ideas that you can find here. Also, there's a competition here, the Mother's Day competition that's on right now. Simply shop, spend 50 kin or more. The more you spend, the more entry tickets you get. Fill in your details, chuck it into the draw box, and who knows, you might win something extra for mom this Mother's Day. And I'm sure she would love to celebrate it a lot more with that gift voucher that you win this Mother's Day from Brian Bell. So come on in and shop. And always remember, quality products, great services, and great value, that's Brian Bell. Until next time, goodbye and God bless. And there you go, everybody. This is the Mother's Day special over at Brand Bill. Now do head down there and get a gift for your mom. Now we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got more for you coming up on the other side. Stay watching. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everyone. Now, up next, we have BSP, and I know that they do great um, community services. Yes, and, they yeah. do. Um, in this edition, we'll be looking at BSP's um, community projects from 2018 leading up to 2019, and we also get to find out more about mobile banking. Awesome. Let's have a look. Good evening everyone, I'm Lamek and thanks for joining me for another BSP segment on Now So Know. This month, BSP has raised its hand to support the Kimber Cutters Rugby League team in their 2019 Digital Cup campaign and we threw the rail to support the 44th national game visiting titles that was held in the water support Mosby on the 12th to the 22nd of April. BSP also puts in 100,000 kina for the angler that reels the cats that weighs in 250 kg or more. No one has succeeded yet. Speaking of success, BSP gives back to many organizations, charities, and community events that contribute to building the communities that we operate in. Additionally, BSP also invests in sponsored events that add value to the bank as a corporate organization in PNG and the Pacific. In 2018, BSP PNG sponsored over 30 events, conferences, and organizations investing over 1.8 million kina in contributing to worthy causes and building our corporate relationships with partners. BSP takes pride in giving back to the community through donations, community projects, because we are one of the very few organizations that reaches the most remote parts of the country. This means that our community projects leave lasting changes and makes a key difference in the community. Our support in community projects in 2019 is worth over 1.6 million kina. We have reached remote schools, provided solar lights, and contributed meaningfully to the communities. We provided financial literacy to over 24,000 participants in 2018 from church groups, youth groups, students, and community groups. We know that having a well-informed community can help them in improving their lifestyle. Our financial literacy trainings are conducted for free by well-trained trainers who are available at our branches in every province, making it convenient for the rich. About convenience, be sure to register for BSP Mobile Banking. We partnered with SolarPayGo Limited. SolarPayGo Limited is a PNG registered company specializing in pay-as-you-go solar solutions. They recently teamed up with BSP to allow its customers to purchase a solar power kit through solar power top-up tokens. 
The arrangement between SolarPaygo and BSP means SolarPaygo customers can now purchase tokens through the BSP mobile banking. Solar power top-ups will be available under BSP's mobile banking Star 131 SK top-up service. The solar kits will then be paid for over a period of months by purchasing a token via the mobile banking. The token code is input to the SPG meter to activate for use. A minimum payment of 12 kina provides 7 days of solar power. Once the final payment is made, the SPG meter opens the system so no further payments are required for the lifetime of the product. The product also comes with a 2-year warranty. So do check out our website for more information or like our BSP Facebook page for more information. Well, that wraps up this BSP segment for this month. We welcome your feedback on this program. You can reach us via Messenger on our BSP Facebook page. Until our next BSP segment, I wish you well. Thank you for banking with BSP. What a great initiative taken by BSP to yes. do those community projects. Yes, awesome stuff right there. And if you want to be part of BSP's mobile banking, there are a lot of great things going on. So if you want to be part of it, drop by at any of the branches. They'll be more than happy to assist you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we have more coming up. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show, everyone. You're watching House and Home. If you've just joined us, thank you so much for your company. Now, moving forward, we have some awesome tips and tricks, some brilliant DIYs from none other than our beautiful friend, Billy G. Yay! So, here it is. become damaged by many things, from the temperature of your shower to the conditions of your environment. Damaged hair looks and feels brittle and coarse, and can often be more difficult to style. If you want your hair looking shiny and healthy, you will need to follow only a few simple steps, like carefully choosing a product that is infused with tea tree and eucalyptus, which treats hair and removes up to 100% of invisible flakes for soothed scalp and nourish hair. Not only that, but also removes and prevents dandruff with continued use. So here's how you can treat your hair daily. Here's how you can take care of your hair daily. Simply apply to wet hair and work into a leather, gently massaging the scalp. Rinse well and repeat if needed. Each of us want to look as best as possible in the shortest time. And it is not impossible if you know the tricks that will save your time and money, plus also help you look great. Today I'll be sharing with you some beauty and hair hacks, different styles you can do for your hair and how you can look after it. These solutions are quick, easy and simple. You can do them after a shower. So let's get straight into it. Easy way to get rid of split ends. Split ends occur when the bottom tips of hair becomes dry and damaged and split in half vertically. This hack will help your hair grow healthy without breaking. First, check the hair length. If you have shorter hair, that's more difficult to see, so use a mirror when cutting off the split ends or simply ask a friend to help you out. The next thing you do is separate one inch section of dry hair after brushing it. If your hair is thin, you might take a bigger section, whilst if your hair is super thick, you might take a smaller one. It's best if you start on one side of your head so that you don't get the sections of hair mixed up as you go along. Twist the sections of hair tightly to reveal the split ends. Start at the top of the section of hair, twisting it as you go down. Continue twisting the strand until the entire section is twisted rather tightly. Once the hair is twisted, you should see the ends of some strands popping up out of the twist. 
trim off the split ends that are sticking out of the twisted section. Examine the ends that are sticking out of the twist. Most of them are likely to be split ends. Cut off the split ends by starting from the top of the strand to the bottom of the strand. This will help ensure that you don't miss any of them. Oily hair. Ever wonder why your hair remains flat and uneven after washing it? Oily hair tends to attract a lot of dirt and grease which does not wash off in one rinse. So what you will need to do is by washing your hair twice in the shower with a shampoo, ensure that all the dirt has been washed out and your hair is smooth and more voluminous. Bobby pins can sometimes be slippery and slide out of your hair so one trick to make them stick and holding their hair is by spraying them with your hairspray before putting them on your hair. This will give them enough hold so they don't budge. To get a really sleek pony but you're tired of spraying your hair directly leaving your hair looking greasy and feeling sticky, instead spray your hair brush then brush through your hair. This will give the slickness without the greasiness. If you use a lot of product and overstyle your hair, even things like sweat can cause your scalp to get itchy and dry. The common myth, if you use a typical dandruff shampoo, it will damage or dry your hair out. That is not true. If you suffer from dandruff, doesn't mean you have compromised your hair to leave flake free. Using this Palmolive 2-in-1 Anti-Dandruff Shampoo and Condition is one of the best ways to get 100% flake-free hair while still keeping your hair healthy, beautiful, shiny and smooth. And you can use it every day without worrying about damages done to your hair. Say goodbye to flyaways. This tips I learned works perfectly to get rid of flyaways using a makeup brush and hairspray. Spray and brush. Then use it to smooth all the flyaways that might be popping up and your hair will look perfectly smooth. So viewers, now you know the importance of washing your hair and choosing the product that is infused with tea tree and eucalyptus which treats hair for soothed scalp, nourish hair and also removes dandruff. And how to take care of your hair as well. For more DIY, keep watching House and Home. Until next time, it's goodbye. Now those are some of the awesome tips and ideas that you can try at home. Now, I actually use those products, but I haven't tried those tips yet. So definitely gonna try that. Yeah, you should try. It takes, you know, less effort and if you're in a hurry, thank you. It'll save your time. So anyways, let's head into a break and when we come back we have more for you. So stay with us. Welcome back everyone. Now up next is Tubman's and as you have seen in the previous shows, there was some great painting. So I'm very keen on finding out what we have now. Now this week we take, we head over to Cheshire Disability Services PNG. We get to work in one of the uh, buildings that is the physio room and we have Santon who will be our artist and tell you what, Santon is a very talented painter. So I can't wait to show you all of that. Me too, so let's have a look. and welcome again to another Topman's DIY segment. Today we are out here at the Cheshire Disability Services PNG at Hohola and we are going to be sprucing up the physio room with lots of imagination and some Topman's paint. So let's get to it. 
Founded in 1965, it has been the leading service provider for children and persons with disabilities or those who are at risk of developing disabilities. So this is their physio room and this is our artist Senten who will be doing the painting for today. As you can see, he's got his apron on, he's got his uh, safety goggles, he's got his face mask and the gloves. And as always, safety is always important for any project. Painting is no different, so make sure you get that fixed. Of course, the first step is sketching. You would have noticed that we didn't apply a primer. That is because this wall is already prepared and Senten can begin with the sketching. The sketch is now complete and Senten is ready to begin his work. We are using two kinds of Togman's Indo paint, the gloss and the semi-gloss for different effects. So let's watch this talented artist do his thing. When you think of interior paint, you usually think of bare walls or white ceilings. You don't usually see it as an art supply. But with Tobmans, not only can you paint walls, you can use it for art. And if you actually think about it, if you could marry the technology in Tobmans paints into your art, it would be a double investment for your project. Tobmans semi-gloss and gloss paints not only give the artwork a classy, glossy finish, their color guard technology will ensure that your artwork stays vibrant and the colors you used stay true for a long time with minimal to no fading. Their main aim is to make a positive difference to the lives of people with disabilities and create an inclusive environment where people with disabilities are treated with dignity and respect. They are funded by well-wishers, fundraising initiatives and designated funding from charities and foundations. If you would like to get involved with their programs with cash or as a volunteer, here's their contact info. So, are you ready for the big reveal? I am. Ladies and gentlemen, the new look feature wall for the Cheshire Disability Services PNG Physio Room. The refreshing new look symbolizes growth and strength and fits perfectly into the theme of the room as its feature piece. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the final product. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? If you got some inspiration or have some ideas from watching the segment, I hope you got get some paint and actually try to put one up of your own. If you feel the urge, do it. That's been all for this edition of DIY with Tobins. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Oh wow, that looks awesome. It, it sure does give you a feeling of calmness and educate you at the same yes. time. So I would definitely paint those for my little brothers and sisters. Room. Yeah. I mean, you can do anything using Tobman's painting. So if you want to do your next project, if you into mural painting, you should look no further than Tobman's. Awesome. Anyways, we're going to head out for a quick breather. But when we come back, we have more. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Now, if you are wondering where we are bringing to you the show, we are at Omni Limited Six Mile Port Mosby. And one of the products that they are specialized in is the kitchen set. And if you have been watching Taste of PNG, the Zinner cooking is done at the Omni Kitchen. So if you want to build a kitchen set for yourself, you can get in touch with them. The information is now showing on your screen. And I believe we have tech people up next, yeah? Yes, we have tech people, and this time we have a look at some game reviews, some educational stuff, and we wrap it all up with some items that you can buy under 50 bucks, yes. Yes, it sounds amazing. So let's join Planet now on Tech People. Hey 
Hey everyone and welcome to Tech People with me, Clem. Now on the show we got some great stuff lined up. We got some advanced shortcuts on techno, on tactics, we got Skyrim, and on tech feature we got the Huawei Mate X. So let's get started. Hey guys, so welcome to Techno. We will be looking at some advanced shortcuts. So like last time you were looking at some uh, like simple ones, but now it's like more advanced. So you're leveling up. Yay for you. So like grab a pen and paper because some of these ones they're like really useful. You'll thank me. All right. So the first one, so you've got so many widgets open, so many apps on your desktop, but you just only need a few, but Tayoklo Pine you just like discombobulated, confused. You, you don't know which ones to pick. So Creating a virtual desktop really takes the problem away. So you hold the Windows key and you press D and it will create a virtual desktop where you can put on just the ones that you need. If you've got a Mac, you press Control and the up key and it will do the same thing for you. So for the second one, you want to cycle through your desktops that you've created. It's, it's simple really, so you hold the Windows and the Control key and you press either left or right if you're got a Windows, uh, Windows computer, sorry, Mac, no that. So the third one, so you got so many widgets and apps open and you're trying to get to one that's way at the back and you're like minimizing and mini it's it, hard to work. The easy way to do it, you press the Windows key and you press M and it minimizes all of them. So then it just makes it easy for you to open it up. And if you're just trying to see the desktop behind it and open another one, you press the Windows key and the comma key and by giving you the Windows desktop. Now, this one's pretty useful to open items or apps on the taskbar. Taskbar is, yeah, that thing underneath with all of the apps lined up. Yes, that's the taskbar. So they're all lined up, you know? So like one, two, three, four, five. You remember where they are located and then you just simply hold the Windows key and if the app that you're trying to open is in the fourth, fourth on in the line, you press the number four, it opens. Same, it's like four, five, six. That's, yeah, that's the easy way to open all of the apps and widgets that are there. Now, number five. This one is a really useful one. You'll take me for it. MCAX one step. So you're doing your work and you're like typing on MS Word and then you're going back to the info where you're, maybe it's like Wikipedia and encyclopedia app. And you're like going there and then coming back, going there and coming back. But you can actually have them both open for you in the split screen mode. So here's what you do. You click on the widget or the app, and then you hold the Windows key, and the, you click either the right, uh, you hold the right or left key, and if you press the right, then it appears on the right. If you hold the Windows key and the left, then it appears on the left, and they're both there. So now you can just look at your work, look at the facts, and then yeah, you just go back and forth. I know, right? You're probably thinking, that was there the whole time. Yes, it was there the whole time, and now you know. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, and that's been all for Techno. I hope you remember to write all of them down. So yeah, that's been all for Techno. Hey guys, so on Tactics today, we will be looking at Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So it's an action game set in like medieval-ish times. So you go on quests, you develop your character skills, and you try to kill the world-eating dragon, Alduin. Yeah, sounds fun. It continues the open world tradition that this series of Elder Scrolls has had and you're like running around in the open world doing lots of fun stuff. I mean, not fun, it's like action. So like, you go through this country, uh, Skyrim, and you're running around, you're gathering weapons, you're gathering spells, you're going on missions, and like the, the more you use a certain type of weapon or spell then in, in that particular skill, you start to gain levels in that. So you go running around looking for quests and you don't actually necessarily have to follow the main storyline. Like you go here, you go here, you go here and that's the game ends. You can spend hours on this thing and not even complete the story. But then it gives you like a whole set of new experiences because it's not just a main storyline thing. It's just like everywhere you can just go and just do whatever you want. Now, Fighting mechanics wise, there were some issues with the game because it's it's quite complicated the way it was built. They tried to make it realistic, but then there were some issues as like glitches and while you're running around in the environment, things just fall out of the sky. Like there was there was one where a mammoth just fell out. Like sometimes things just appear out of nowhere. There's people talking to you through the roof. But then they actually fixed those in the newer upgraded version. So it was great. 
they um, fixed out the glitches and they made it more smoother in its transitions and mechanics. So that was nice. Um, I guess the game is actually one of the, it was the best game of 2016 and the newer versions that were coming out 2017 and 2018, they actually stepped it up even more. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10 and I think it's a great game. If you're trying to buy it, it's worth it. Welcome guys to Tech Feature. So today we'll be looking at Huawei Mate X. So it's Samsung Galaxy's rival. The Galaxy Fold that came out, uh, that will be coming out. This is Huawei's reply to that. So we'll look at it like closely. The foldable smartphone from Huawei. So this foldable trend is getting into most everything now. There's like foldable TVs, foldable phones and stuff like that. And design-wise, let's say like it's slimmer than the uh, uh, Samsung's Galaxy Fold. It's slimmer, but it still looks okay. The features include an eight inch OLED display. That's just like a TV. That's TV grade stuff right there. So it's great for games and videos and social media and all of that. And some people were worried that the screen would be like have creases in it, but it doesn't. It actually does not have creases. It's, it actually has a mechanism that controls the way it folds. So it's great. It doesn't really have that much of a problem. The other thing is like, the screen might get scratched in your pocket, you know, that's something to be scared about, but I think that's something that they're working on and they'll probably release some um, skins for it soon. Now, inside the way it runs, the hardware, it runs on Samsung's Huawei Balong 5000, the world's first 7nm multi-mode 5G chipset. Yes, I said 5G, it's 5G now, which achieved the industry's first ever 5G download speed and to make sure that this phone runs smoothly on its 5G, they have four antennas installed in it. Four, four plus. So yeah, they wanted a smooth 5G experience, so they made it that way. Of course, they got three cameras on it, which are pretty, there's like pretty powerful cameras too. It's got, they've got a 40 megapixel primary camera, a 60 megapixel wide angle camera, and in front they've got a 10 megapixel selfie camera. So, like. so they've got the Huawei's all new, 55 watt Huawei supercharged. This is the way it works. I don't know, I'm just joking. They haven't told anybody how it works. It's a secret. But if you put the phone on charge for 30 minutes, you come back, it's like 85% charged. So that's how it works. It just charges your phone super fast. It's got a 4,500 mega amp hour battery. So that, that's pretty big. That's like two days worth of power right there. So yeah, you can run around. It's just like you're running around with a little office in your pocket. So it's set to launch uh, in June this year, and it will cost about 2,299 euros. That's about 8,750 kina, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I can't afford it. Yeah, but that's been the Huawei Mate X. I think it's great if you can afford it, but I think if you're trying to run a business and you're looking for something that's an investment, I think this is great, the Huawei Mate X. So yeah, that's been all for tech feature. All right, guys, and that's been all for Tech People. Thanks for watching. Remember to um, suggest content to me if you have anything interesting that you would like us to feature on the show, and make sure you address it to me on the house and home page on Facebook. Yeah, that's been all. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe, be kind. Goodbye. And that was Clannet on Tech People talking to us about some techy stuff. And some of the items that you can buy that are less than 50 bucks. Anyways, we've come to the end of our show. Just as much as we've enjoyed your company, we hope you did too. And if you'd like to watch this episode and the previous episodes again, please visit MTV online or our Facebook page. Like it, share, let us know what you think or what you'd like to see more of in the coming episodes. So on behalf of the entire House and Home team, it's pleasant viewing and goodbye. Goodbye.